only at Jack in the Box. Now at noon, extreme weather is causing major travel delays across the country just before the busy 4th of July weekend. Thanks for joining us for the KTLA 5 News at Noon. I'm Glenn Walker. And I'm Lou Parker. Millions of people are expected to travel this weekend by air, also by car. And it could be the busiest travel weekend since before the pandemic. From weather to travel to fireworks safety, we have live team coverage. We are starting, though, with Andy Reesmeyer with a look at the getaway weekend forecast. Hi, Andy. Hey, guys. Good morning. Yes, a beautiful weekend ahead. Right now, you can see we still have a lot of that cloud cover. That will start to burn off. And the next few days are going to be very similar to this. But we have a heating trend starting on Friday, which is going to be really exciting. As far as we look outside right now, we've got 65 along the beaches, uh, 66 Santa Monica, 67 in Long Beach. Inland, we've got low 70s. And then even further inland there, mid 70s 95 degrees in Palm Springs the story for the next few days is going to be a heating trend like I said we're going to tomorrow uh, sorry I'm excuse me today we're going to see uh, going up to 73 in Long Beach 80 in El Monte 82 in Chino 83 in Riverside 101 in Palm Springs and then a few degrees even warmer for tomorrow so Thursday here you see 76 by the time we get to Sunday the second we've got 81 and then we're going to drop down here by Tuesday the 4th of July for 80 for Los Angeles a little bit cooler about four or five degrees cooler on the beaches and then a little bit warmer of course, inland high 80s here for the Inland Empire as well. And then by the time we get after the 4th of July there, you're going to have 77, 76 and 75. So uh, that is a look ahead at your holiday forecast. Going to be a really nice weekend, a little bit warm, head to the beaches, 75 degrees. I'm Andy Reesmeyer, going to send it back to you. All right. That extreme weather on the East Coast is causing a ripple effect here with passengers stuck at LAX trying to get to their destination. So frustrating. Some travelers are being forced to spend the night at the airport. Kimberly Chang live at LAX talking to frustrated passengers. Hi, Kimberly. Hi, flight delays and cancellations have affected flights across the country, including here at LAX, where we just spoke with a large group of people, more than a dozen family and friends who are now headed back home. They say their trip to Cancun was ruined after six months of planning. We waited no more like six months for the trip, go to Cancun for a group for like 13 people. And right now we gone the United States whole cancellation. They talk in the weather, whatever, I don't know. <laughs> You're sad, I know, with whole group of people here. We've been waiting, so exciting, can sleep at night, you know, and now they, everything canceled. You've been excited for six months, he told me. Yes, been six months. More than a dozen in this group scheduled to go to Cancun for a vacation. One of them had even traveled from Vietnam to join the trip. They were told they could rebook, but with change fees for their connecting flight and hotel and the loss in time, it might not be worth it. So they're headed home, disappointed, frustrated to say the least. And they're not alone. Flight Aware tracked roughly 200 delays and more than two dozen cancellations as of this morning at LAX. Delays and cancellations impacted several airlines. United, Delta, Southwest showed the most delays according to fly to where this morning now across the country thousands of flights have been delayed and canceled in and out of the u.s as of this morning this follows travel disruptions over the past few days when powerful storms pounded parts of the country including the northeast where many hubs are located other factors include crew scheduling airlines are also dealing with large crowds travel has picked up steadily every year since it dipped during the pandemic now there's been some finger pointing united ceo scott kirby blames faa staffing issues and their ability to manage traffic. We spoke with another traveler this morning who says he was on his way to a business trip and his daughter on her way to summer camp. We were both canceled. Um, so at this point, my business trip, it's almost not worth it for me to go. But I'd like to get her to camp, so we're just trying to do everything we can. But everyone gives you a different answer. The desk says one thing, you can't get through on the phone. I think we waited for five hours last night on hold. And this is troubling as we head into the 4th of July weekend when millions of people are expected to travel and tomorrow is expected to be one of the busiest travel days. Reporting live here at LAX, Kimberly Chang, KTLA 5 News. Kimberly, thank you. A less than one week away from the 4th of July, authorities continue to stress the importance of firework safety. They say leave it to the professionals. KTLA 5's Alina Abovian explains. She joins us now live in Pasadena. Alina? 
Hi there, guys. Good afternoon. That's right. Leave